welcome is back. We are on day five of our Christmas in July sale, sale, Christmas in July series. And this day, so Fridays are going to be mass producing days. So I realize not everybody that does Christmas cards wants to do a separate card for each and every person, uh, nor does everybody have time for that. Um, so I figured on every Friday, I will pick a design that can very well be mass produced, but still have that special touch to it. And today is that day. We also, when I mass produce, I very much go into my scraps of paper. I have a uh, bin that is just below my desk where literally I just throw all of my scraps small big little um, it can fit all the way up to an eight and a half by uh, 12 eight and a half by 11 piece of paper anyways so no matter what size pretty much the scrap is it can fit in there um I try not to let it get too big, but, or in too deep, but uh, that's where these will come into. So I did go into there. I found some scrap red pieces um, from, I believe these were actually graduation cards that I was working on. And I found some scrap red and some scrap green. And we're gonna do four cards today at least. Uh, when I get going with it, maybe it will be a few more, um, but we're gonna do that. And we are going to use this set, and I said four because I kind of, this stamp set has four different Santas on it. Um, I did get this inspiration from this card here. I will pop it up right here on the screen. Um, I love this little moose. I don't have that little moose, but I was like, oh, I have these pretty big stamps, though, um, that will take up pretty decent amount of space and I think that we can kind of do about the same type of thing and it's an easy one where you don't need to be coloring that's where you know mass producing doesn't work if you have the color I mean you can color little images and get them all done um, but I think doing it this way is going to be pretty fun so we are going to go step by step. Mass producing is easiest for me when I do everything in order and get things prepped and then start putting together the cards and literally make it an assembly line. So let's get started. All right, so I'm super excited for this part of the series. Guys, okay, sitting down and getting four Christmas cards done in probably just over, let's see, the footage is about, let's see, 30... 40 in about an hour time minus the die cutting so right here you'll see we're going to start die cutting our letters i did shut off the camera and continue to do this on top of it i ended up thinking there was two e's in mary instead of two r's <laughs> so you'll see i got a lot more e's than r's and had to go back plus this die set i probably would not recommend it cuts an outer edge and the inner edge um and that was a little tough to, like, it just took an extra step. So I'm not going to recommend this, even though I love this font size or font, I'm not going to recommend this die set for that just because it did take a lot more time. And when we are mass producing, we don't want steps to take up time. So, all right, so I did already cut my card bases down um, and I used the um, just... Uh, rectangle stitch dies um, to get that stitch aligned. Just, I think adding, just doing small things that add little details to cards, especially when you're mass producing, makes it even better um, in my eyes and it just keeps that handmade touch, of course, especially when we're not putting all of the coloring and maybe like embossing and all that kind of stuff into these cards. Um, doing one simple step like that and running it through your die cutting machine definitely just helps amp that up. So we are going through and just stamping our images. I ended up only using three of the Santas. Um, I didn't, there was a Santa that was like drinking coffee or maybe hot cocoa. I could have used it, but I thought a lot of it was going to get covered up by the Mary anyways. So we just went with the three and doubled up on one. It's no big deal. Um, I am stamping twice with my Versifying um, 
black onyx ink knowing that i was not color coloring these um i could do it in that nice dark black ink so that they were standing out pretty good this little guy this little santa wrapping his gifts i love him um of course using a mini misty um this has been a godsend. I had a friend send this to me and yeah, I finally figured out I wasn't on screen. Sorry guys about that. I will get more and more used to my setup and making cards on screen <laughs> instead of just making cards. All right. So I do deviate from our original inspiration, but I always tell people, please do. I mean, make it your own, take inspiration, make it into your own. And here I'm splattering. I, th I felt like it needed a little something. So I kind of made it like a speckled splatters paper type thing. Um, so two red. I almost did all red on accident. <laughs> I almost forgot that I needed to switch to the green. I just used my Lumberjack Red Distress Oxide and I think pine needles for the green is what the green was. And uh, just a fly brush is what I'm using, as you can see right there. And getting splatter everywhere. I probably should have used my splatter box, but yeah, no, we don't. We're not doing that. All right. So here we are going to put down our dies. Um, I did go through, did I? Yeah, I did go through already and um, double up my dies. Uh, I did do that off screen too. So maybe add in like an hour and a half for all four cards. I think that's four cards in an hour and a half. I can barely do one card usually in an hour and a half, <laughs> especially if I'm doing it live and talking. So I doubled up all of my dice already just to add a little, you know, dimension to these. And I think it just makes them look better in the end. Um, and then place them out so that they're pretty even. Um, I wasn't going to get crazy a little you know it might be you know not the straightest but then I was like just like making them not even so that you couldn't notice <laughs> I'm only gonna do two I'm gonna do one red one green just so that you can see both of them and how they're coming together um I figured you didn't need to see me do all of them I guess and each one of the Marys did fit um a little bit different uh just because the images were a little bit different so but i think they still came out super cute honestly i honestly i could probably do a set of 20 of these cards to tell you the honest truth sit down one night and literally just die cut your letters glue them all together and then these came together so stinking easily um if i were to put these up for sale on my Facebook group, which I do have. It is called Crafted Cheer, and I will uh, leave that in the description below so that you can buy my cards if you um, were interested in. This would probably be the cards that I would sell like a set of 15 or 20 of, just because they did. They came together so quickly um, and easily. And I like watching shows and videos while I'm doing the die cutting anyways. So pretty, you know, I, I'm, I don't, I don't mind doing the die cut. I was like, oh, no, that's not. I did move the Christmas. Uh, this Christmas sentiment did come from a Hello Bluebird um, set. It was just a regular stamp says Christmas. I didn't think that it needed to be like center stage I kind of wanted it to be a little bit smaller again I did move it around images um just so that it looked good for that image uh I don't think there's a rhyme or reason as long as it says it on there I think it's perfect and then lastly um in the inspiration I don't believe that I got to go back and look at inspiration but I don't believe that she matted her card but I did feel like it needed another little pop of something here I am I'm like where do I put this one <laughs> um so I did mat each one of the cards on the color and I mean by mat I mean like just a sliver around it nothing big just here we are you're gonna cut those down um just a sliver of um of a mat like nothing much so um I didn't want a huge mat I maybe could have went like 
a quarter, what, not even a quarter, an eighth of an inch on each side. I don't even think it was an eighth of an inch. Oh, here I am trying to do math, making sure that I don't use all of that 12 by 12 paper up um, and make a mistake. But I was like, okay, we need to figure out this and cut it. Um, and then just gluing those down. Plus it just makes it um, thicker. And, you know, I think that all of us are wanting to make our cards feel thicker and you know, more substantial, I guess. I don't know. That shouldn't be a thing. Also, you handmade this card. So, all right. So there you go. Like I said, a sliver of a mat on each side. Don't forget to put your acrylic blocks. I have a huge acrylic block. So I use that for like my main big cards. Um, and it just allows those cards to dry um, and get a good connection and all that good stuff. Um, and also dry flat to it flattens them out. So there we go. And I'm just literally gluing and gluing and gluing. And the last step, oh yeah, the last step pretty much is going to put them on card bases. Now, when I do mass produce, you can cut your own card bases. That's not a big deal. Um, you know, I cut my own card bases all of the time. Uh, but for this one, I did have a stack of card bases that were like pre-made from Joann's or something like that. And does my whites match? Not completely, but you know, if somebody is really looking at how my wh whites don't match, uh, <laughs> then I guess give me back my card, right? <laughs> uh, for some reason, I feel like my Nina Solar White cardstock is not white white I don't know at one point if like it like oxidized a little bit or something I don't know it's definitely a cream um and I keep on forgetting that and not using my hammer mill paper uh but it is what it is so especially the 120 pound which is I think what I used here because I knew I thought at one point it was going to be a one layer card um and that that 120 pound weight card stack is definitely a little bit more creamier so Eventually, I will go through and probably make um, some uh, coordinating envelopes for these also, most likely like stamping the stamp that's on the inside or doing something along those lines. Uh, but let's finish off these cards. And in that stamp, the other stamp set, the Jingle All The Way stamp set, which I also love from um, My Favorite Things, there's one in there that says Marry Everything. And I thought that that was a nice carryover from the Mary in the front. And of course, using a Misty, it is so simple to just place one in. Of course, I forget that when I have this small one that the ink, if I have ink on the door, it's going to get on the card. So pull out that sand eraser. It wasn't a big deal. Pulled out that sand eraser, got that off and kept on moving forward. We, I mean, if you don't have a sand eraser by now, you need to get one for your boo-boos. But see, you're going to see me wipe off my door from every other one because I was like, yep, yeah, learn the first time. And there we go. And that about wraps it all up, guys. Super simple. Four cards made. We are at Friday. So day, what, uh, five of the Christmas card um, series, my Christmas in July series. And I have six cards made already go me i'm so excited for this christmas and being able just to sit back and just get the cards out and have fun all right guys thank you so much for being here definitely put mary in the comments below if you've made it this far and i will see you for day number seven